Yeah, give me a Big Mac uh, and a Cherry Coke, please. No, you know what? Just change that to uh, COVID screening, please. All right, thanks. I would take a deep breath through your nose while, once you put this up. Okay. Take a deep breath. Breathe in. Perfect. Breathe in. Can you take a step in? Perfect. Again. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. All right. That was up in there. It was. Did you feel it? A little bit. Just uh, a little. I'm so sorry. It's all good. You need to self isolate until your procedure and your provider will call you with the result. Okay. How long well, do you know? Uh, I can tell probably you. Probably Monday. Right. Yes, probably. So I need you to take the ramp to uh, right here. Yeah. Make a right. Yeah. And then at the end, next time, make a right. Yeah. And you're going to go out the same way you came in. Yep. Okay? Okay. Good you, you should get your results anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. Likely, hood is probably earlier. And they'll call me or? Yeah. Yes. So uh, okay. your surgeon will call you or one of our physicians will call you. All right, great. Okay? No worries. Thanks, that's guys. Positive or negative, right? Saturdays. That's that's either way, positive or negative, they'll call me, right? You're going to get a, no matter what, we're going to give you confirmation. Great. The result we get. Thanks, guys. Be safe. Bye. Well, that was interesting. Uh, yeah, when you when you breathe in, um, yeah, it's not, there's there's a flap back there that opens up, and they go a lot deeper. Holy, I didn't expect that. Wow, <laughs> they were all up into my all up in my my giddies right there. All right, COVID fun. Whoa. It must be where Trump was saying that it's uncomfortable. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's a little uncomfortable. Hey, there's the whiff. She doesn't need to be tested. No. And yeah. she's a she's a healthcare professional. She should be tested out anybody. I talked about that in my last video. Anyway, don't get me going. We're out here. Hey, hey guys, sit rip 33. It is the 29th of April 2020. So, yeah, uh this is um one day after surgery. I had surgery on my throat yesterday. And um so first day of recovery. So you see me swallowing kind of weird, but that's just par for the course. We'll talk about that here in a minute. So, so yeah, yeah, I had surgery yesterday um, sometime in the early afternoon. They juiced me up with the happy juice, so things got a little foggy for me. <laughs> but uh, I can tell you, I got some numbness on my right ear. I can't, I can't feel any of that. I got some numbness down my jaw, and I got numbness on my neck. Um, I forgot to ask the doc about that when she came in earlier today. Um, if that's going to be permanent or what. Um, the good news is I can smell and I can taste. So um, that's good news. Really good news. Um, I can't swallow. Talk about that here in a minute. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. I have to do a disclaimer here. If you're squeamish, um, the stuff I'm about to show you is, um, yeah, it's a little graphic, a little bloody. Um, medical stuff so if you can't handle that uh, you need to switch you to insert time there okay so for the rest of you here's uh here's what's happening so uh first of all i'll show you this this is just a drain um i don't know if you can see it there that just drained the fluids from this area which got beat up pretty good it's just a little suction thing, and, and there it is. So it actually needs to be emptied soon. So I just stick it in my hoodie. Yeah. And uh, so next, here is, uh, well, here's a money shot, right? This is a picture of my throat. Um, so the doc had removed not just a tonsil, but 
Um, you can see on the on the right side of my throat, which in, in this picture it's going to be on the left side. Um, that is the, I think it's called a um, restrictor muscle. And there's one on each side. She had to take that whole muscle out. Um, and the job of that muscle was to grab the food and force it down the larynx and the esophagus. So uh, if you notice, that's that's part, that's a reason I'm swallowing funny right now is because I have to kind of, I have to relearn um, how to swallow. So, and, and then you can notice next to the, the dangly, um, she also cut into my soft palate a little bit. So, um, that's, that's also a part of the swallowing problem. Um, the good news is that all that went off to pathology and they checked all around the edges and they didn't find any, any cancer. So I, but I, I can't say they checked all around the edges. They checked periodically around the edges. So, um, you know, the, the initial indication, or at least the indication we're we're believing as true right now is that she got she had good margins and she got she got all the cancer out. All the cancer went with the bits that she sent off that she cut out. So is that uh, the one hundred percent truth? We won't know for a while. That's why they track your cancer for um, you know, five years. Actually they say if you're you're clear now at ten years. So so what's the implications to all this? Um, it looks like uh, I, I'm not going to go on um, my feed tube again. They don't want me to do that. I can barely open my mouth now. That's not just because of the surgery. That's because of radiation. So remember I've been telling you that you know radiation is the gift they just keeps on giving, right? Well, um, I've noticed the last week or so that uh, that my my muscles in my my head and neck and jaw especially have been uh, have been uh, atrophying. They've been getting tight. So I've been doing my exercises as much as I can, um, which now are even more important. Which but but are also much more difficult because of all this mess. So um, yeah, but so so I will be eating mostly uh, like ensure. And um, things like, you know, puddings and applesauce, pork chops, and applesauce, without the pork chops, of course. Um, and just to keep trying to keep my weight up until uh, I can, you know, build up that muscle. Because I, I basically have to learn how to swallow again with the, with the remaining muscles and tissue that I have left. So... And it's never going to be 100%. So I don't know what that means yet. I suspect there's going to be some foods that I can't eat anymore. But uh, yeah, that's 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 the that's the new that's the new reality of it. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So, but I mean, my spirits are up. I don't feel that bad. I mean, I'm not uh, she, the doc. I forgot to ask her about this too. She. Um, <laughs> She only prescribed me five milligram um, oxycodone. And heck, the VA gave me that back when I had a sore throat from cancer. And they upped it to 10 as soon as I started radiation. And I got that radiation burn on my tongue. So, uh, you know, five milligram, I don't even take it. So right now, I'm not even on any painkillers at all. So it doesn't feel that bad. I mean, my pain is probably a six when I swallow, maybe a seven, it spikes, right? But just right now, just kind of hanging out, uh, it, do it doesn't hurt too bad. So, so um, you know, what the heck? I don't like taking that stuff anyway, you know that. So maybe I just won't take any. My problem is that, I can't remember, they call them the loon or something, but I tend to get, my temperature goes up, my, you know, I get, I feel worse, my pain goes up at night, and uh, if you recall, I was only taking those 10 milligram um, oxycodone at night to get to sleep, really, so, I mean, it hurts now when I swallow, it's probably going to get worse tonight, so, 
Hopefully I'll get an audience with the doc um, later on today. Right now it's only 11.30 in the morning. So she said she's going to stop back. So hopefully I won't forget. But uh, I got to talk to you about this pain med stuff. Anyway. All right. So shortly after shooting that video, uh, I was discharged. So Dr. C came in. And we talked for a little bit. She did write me a script for that 10 milligram oxy, so I'll get some sleep tonight. That's good news. And uh, we also we also talked about that that numbness. So yeah, there's one nerve that that goes in front of the ear that controls the ear, jaw, and neck sensation. And she traced along that nerve, and it's pretty common apparently for people to have numbness in these three locations after uh, surgery, after doing that, which is common. So unfortunately, some people have long-term and even permanent loss of, uh, of feeling in those areas. So that's kind of a bummer. And uh, yeah, then she discharged and sent me home. So that's just a quick update I wanted to give you. So uh, we'll just get back to the video, thanks. So, uh, that's, I think that's the nuts and bolts of it, guys. I mean, uh, you know, that's about, I guess that's about all I got. Make sure you, 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 you know, send this off to whoever, other family members and stuff. So they can, you know, kind of follow along, right? I was going to send it off to Lily, but I don't, I lost her phone number, so... Whoever you feel is appropriate. I mean, I, I'm not afraid to let everybody know what's going on. All right. That's all I got, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.